guys, I'm Sean Harper, back again with another video and in this video we're going to do the unpacking of the Samsung J7 Pro case. So, got the bill, we don't need that. Okay, that's this, nothing else, let me see. Okay, just to pack it with a case and some foam, packing would be a lot better. Let's open this. This is from a company named Johra. Links for this are in the description. So this is the black colorway. You can get it in blue and white. I don't know. Check it out. So you can see it has a fake leather finish. This is not real leather, guys. This is fake leather. You have some fake stitching again over here. This feels really nice. It's a silicone case. You have the oak cut out for your camera. You have buttons for your volume. Down you have your mic, your charger, and the earphones. You have the power button. I don't know what this is. I think if you want to put a lanyard, I think so. On top, there's nothing. Yeah, it looks, this is a black colorway. It has some design decoping. I think so this pigeon cases but this is just for design it's not shock protection it's just for design purposes what I don't like about this case is it has I hope you can see that on, up, above the camera cutout it has something like autofocus ultimate experience why would anyone need that written on top of that so let's put the phone inside and see how it looks so it's a J7, I have a screen guard on top of this. I know this screen guard takes away the look of this phone, but you have to protect your investment, right? So let's see if this case fits with the phone and the screen guard. Okay, simple. You can see everything is visible. The speakers over here are in a very bad place, man. But it sounds good, right? Let's see. Okay, everything's open. As you can see there's a gap between the screen guard and the case. That's a good thing because if there's no gap, the case will push the screen guard out and this is a tempered glass so it'll be a little on the costly side. So if it's come out, it's waste. So yeah you have the opening obviously with screen and screen guard it has a lip but not so visible because of the screen guard everything is lined up you need a lip because when you place the phone down you just push it you don't want scraping the screen right but you can see the lip is so little so if I do this the case is coming out and it's so easy to push in you don't want that you want a case a little bit hard to apply to attach it because when it falls on you don't want the case coming off and your phone going to a side it should be a little bit stiff but this is okay for me I'll be clicking button the tactile as well volume button everything is okay you see the mic the charger the headphone everything is open the speaker also has opening I just don't like this auto experience or to focus something like that Fake leather feels really nice, grippy. Other than you holding a bare metal phone, which is very very slippery, this will increase your grip. And it feels a lot better and a lot more confident in holding the phone rather than the plain metal finish, which is very slippery. Again, everything works well. So if you want to pick up this case, it's very nice because it comes in a budget. Price and it looks nice. Everything looks nice in this case. Everything is open, nothing obstructing anything. So, if you want to pick up this case, guys? It's in the description. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel below. Catch you up, guys, in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>